Today at shopdap.com, we talk about the history of Haldex all-wheel drive systems. Now, before we go into the history of Haldex all-wheel drive, let's talk real briefly about how the system works. Haldex all-wheel drive is a system that allows on-demand engagement of the rear wheels. This uses a hydraulic clutch to engage the rear wheels when the vehicle sees a loss of traction. The system effectively functions as front-wheel drive unless the vehicle deems it necessary. The inventor of this technology, known to most as Haldex, was actually a man by the name of Siggy Johansson. He developed the technology as an electronically controlled limited slip differential. Siggy worked for Saab's competition department and was a rally driver of a Saab V4 himself. He patented the multi-plate clutch design in the 80s, and while it was used in a variety of prototype Saabs over the years, it never made it to a production vehicle until much later. In 1990, Siggy sold the patent to Haldex. Now, the technology within this was not used in an all-wheel drive system until a prototype vehicle was made and Ferdinand Piak from Volkswagen test drove that vehicle with the all-wheel drive system using that Haldex. He then greenlit that project and the first all-wheel drive Haldex was born. In 2011, the traction division of Haldex was sold to BorgWarner, now known as BorgWarner Torque Transfer Systems. Now, I know you're thinking, if Haldex as a company still exists and they sold that technology to Borg Warner, then why do we still call it Haldex? And the answer is VW and Audi don't use the term Haldex in their official documentation. You'll see words like Quattro, found here, or four motion all-wheel drive systems. These are the, the systems that you'll actually see in the sales documentation or official documentation of these all-wheel drive systems. And you generally won't find anything specific to these systems being mentioned as Haldex in the documentation on the sales side of things. Now we still all call it Haldex, so I'm sure that has BorgWarner employees like, it's not Haldex, BorgWarner. Don't transfer systems. Eight years, eight years. Since we specialize in VW and Audi, we're gonna give you a detailed history of the Haldex application within those models. But these systems have been used by a variety of manufacturers, and these manufacturers include Seat, Skoda, Saab, Volvo, Ford, Land Rover, Opel, Buick, Cadillac, Lamborghini, and Bugatti. Now let's talk about the history in the VW and Audi world. The first generation of Haldex was found in the 8LA3 Mark I TT and the Mark IV R32. This version of the Haldex clutch uses a rotational speed difference between the front and rear axles to operate. A pump effect is generated using the outer clutch plate, working and lift piston operating in parallel which creates oil pressure. While the system does use an electric pump, it is not the primary source of pressure for this Haldex system. This vehicle also has a 90 to the front, 10% to the rear power split with a max of 50-50 possible. And this vehicle also uses a reactive system where essentially you're not taking the ABS data into account as a general rule for engagement of the Haldex clutch. Generation two of the Haldex all-wheel drive system operates mechanically much like the generation one, but with simplified oil control valves in this newer system. This system uses a power split of 95% to the front, 5% to the rear with a max of 50-50 split available. Much like the Gen 1, the Gen 2 system is also reactive. The Gen 2 Haldex system was found in the Mark 5 R32 8PA3 as well as the Mark 2 Audi TT. Now these vehicles do have upgradable Haldex systems by upgrading the control module to improve performance and both the Gen 1 and Gen 2 both require servicing and a serviceable filter is replaced during that service. Generation three of Haldex was not found in any VW and Audi models and was found in the Land Rover Freelander and a variety of Volvo models. The Gen 4 system, while notably different, uses the same basic layout as the previous generations. The main changes are a further simplified hydraulic system, as well as using an electric pump as the primary source of pressure for the hydraulic clutches. The Gen 4 system is the first of the group to be proactive. This means this system will do more than just react to wheel slip. Now, the split on a Gen 4 system is 100 to the front, zero to the rear at default, again with a max being 50-50 as a power split. The Gen 4 system was found in 08 and a half and later models. For Audi, this was the 8PA3 and Mark II TT. For VW, it was 
the Mark VI Golf R, the Tiguan, the B6 Passat, and the VW CC. Now all these vehicles can be upgraded to a performance Haldex module to enhance this all-wheel drive system. Last, we have the Gen 5 system. Now, the Gen 5 is found in most current VW and Audi models. This system is very much like the Gen 4, with a few things modified, removed, and adjusted on this system. This system is a 100% to the front, zero to the rear, much like the Gen 4, with a max 50-50 split. Now this system is proactive, again, like the Gen 4, although that is taken further, and so this will be even further proactive in situations of when it senses a slip based on wheel speed and a bunch of ABS stability metrics, as well as when it sees your vehicle ready for launch. In Volkswagen models, the Gen 5 system is found in the Mark 7 Golf R, the Alltrack, the MQB Tiguan, the Atlas, and in Audi models, it's found in the 8VA3, 8VS3, RS3, Mark 3 TT, TTS, TTRS, and the Q3 model. There we have a history on Haldex and how it's changed. While we don't have more details of the future generations, with the use of VW and Audi becoming more prevalent of these systems, we suspect to see more in the future. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more like it.